You have probably heard of Minecraft. Maybe you even explore the giant worlds created by the popular game. Minecraft can be played several different ways. Users can play in survival mode and gather resources to create buildings, find food, and complete tasks without dying. Or users can play in creative mode, which allows them to fly around and build whatever they want. Today I'm going to be showing you how Minecraft is kind of like coding. Coding may sound like something only scientists can do. However, it's not as hard as you might think, especially when using Minecraft to learn about coding. So, first of all, I'm going to be showing you what redstone is. There is many different things in Minecraft that uses redstone. Redstone can be uh, recovered by going in mines and by killing witches. Redstone can be used to made, make circuits similar to electricity circuits. Creating redstone circuits allow users to make moving devices and machines. It also helps users understand the logic used to code computer programs. So if you use a switch, for example, and a lamp, if you turn the switch, the light turns on, just like it does in the real world. Here are some examples of what redstone can do. It can automatically open a door. It can provide power to railroad tracks to make the minecart go faster. There is sometimes in the real world where there is more than one switch. If one switch is on, but there's another switch in its path, the other one has to be turned on too to make the lamp work. Minecraft proves that coding isn't just for scientists. It's for you too. But wait, that's not a way to end off a video. Only one item can do the job. TNT! A switch? Oh, some redstone? And TNT! Three, two, one. Ah. Uh. Uh, ah, ah. Hopefully, this video taught you something. And remember, when someone asks you how to remember coding, tell them to use Minecraft. Bye.